What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy JP. Come to y'all with another how-to. Today, we are going to talk about how to wire up subs. I'm even going to show y'all an app that I like to use on my phone that kind of gives you the blueprint on how to wire up stuff. It's real easy, real simple to use, and we are starting right now. All right, y'all, so let's make this as simple as possible. This is a sub, or these are subs. If you look down here, uh, right there, that little copper ring that's inside this little vent, this is called a voice coil. And this is a single voice coil, which means it only has one set of positive and negative. There's one on this side and one on that side. They do make a sub that is a dual voice coil, which means there will be a set of positive and negatives right here. And then another set of positive and negatives over there. And we will get into wiring up dual voice calls a little later in this video. But this thing is measured in ohms or resistance. This is a single voice call, four ohm sub, and the same thing as this. So why is this important? It's important because you need to know the power level and the resistance level of your subs to figure out how you're going to wire these two things up to get a certain amount of power out the amp. Now, mind you, if we had just one sub, we can only hook it up one way because there's only one set of positive and negatives on this single voice call sub. So it's going to be wired at four ohms, which means we will take our speaker wire. I got some right here. We will put the positive on the positive, the negative on the negative, and we will run that to our positive and negative on our speaker terminals on our amp. And since it will be sending, it'll be, it'll, it'll be a, what we call a load, a four ohm load we will be only getting 300 watts to this sub. Now, that will actually be pretty good because I think this sub right here is like 250 RMS. So 300 watts is not bad for this. We can go ahead and wire it up like that, but we have two subs. So that means that we can wire these up different ways. And now we need to get into series and parallel. Uh, so I don't want to get too technical, but uh, we're just going to say that when you series your subs, that means we're going to be adding the resistances. When we parallel our subs, that means we're going to be dividing the resistances. So right now I have, uh, we're, we got this thing wired up in series, which means I have the positive of this sub going to the negative of this sub. And we have our existing positive and negatives that would be going to the amp. I got my red meter lead going in this one. I'm gonna put my black one in here and then we're gonna see what seriesing the subs meters out to be. And since we're adding the resistance, this is four, that's four. This should meter out to about eight ohm. All right, 7.8, uh, 7.7, that rounds up to eight ohm. So you will not want to series these subs. These are two single fours, and if you series them, you're gonna get eight, because four plus four is eight. I don't know many amplifiers that provide a lot of power at eight ohms. They usually start their readings around four. Uh, but yeah, if you got if you did this and hooked this up in series, then you're not gonna get any power or very little power towards your amplifiers. Now what would be a case to where you might want to series your subs? Maybe these are two ohms. If they're single voice coil two ohm subs, then two plus two equals four, which means if these subs don't need a whole lot of power, then this amp will provide 300 watts at four ohms. That might be a good option for you, but since these are single four, you don't want to do it. So now we're going to get into series. I mean, we're going to get into parallel. All right, guys, when you parallel your subs, you're basically just hooking up all the positives and all the negatives. So we have the positive over here running to the positive over here. And then I have a wire that's joined right there. And then this would technically be going to our amp. And we do the same thing with the negative. So we have the negative wire on that sub join together with the negative on that sub and this will basically be going to our amp so i got my meter leads on the ends of the speaker wire that will actually be going to the sub and we are reading 2.2 ohms which is perfect so that means that our amplifier is going to be providing 600 watts to this application because it's wired down to a two so this would be a good time to actually use the parallel because we're going to get more power out of our amp than using series because it's going to be adding the resistance 
emphasis wiring it up way too high now these were two ohm subs we can wire these in series which means we will add the resistances two plus two equals four which will provide 300 watts of power to the application if we parallel these and there were single twos then that will give us a one ohm one ohm gives us 800 watts of power to the application now a good equation that I want you guys to remember when you're thinking about paralleling uh, your subs is R over N. R equals resistance, N equals the number of resistances. We have two single fours, so our R would be four. The number of voice calls we have are two, so our N would be two. Four divided by two is a two ohm load. If these were twos, then our R would be two and our N will still be two. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So if there were single 2s, that would be a 1 ohm load. And that's just kind of one thing that you guys can remember when you're thinking about that. So now that we've talked about single voice call subs, we want to get into dual voice call subs and how to wire those up. Now, I don't actually have any dual voice call subs with me, so I'm going to jump right into this application that I like to use. It's going to help you guys out with that. All right, y'all, this isn't a plug for Kicker, but the app is pretty dope. Um, I want you to go to your app store and type in Kicker U. And uh, they have two different versions. They have a Kicker U Lite, and the Lite is pretty cool. It's just a free version. Um, it's pretty basic, but it does have the woofer uh, wiring diagram wizard. I actually went ahead and paid like a little $3.99, and uh, it just gives you more options and more features. But we're going to open up the app. We're going to go to wiring diagrams or wiring wizard or whatever and you can see you can choose the number of drivers where there's a single voice call a dual voice call and you can type in what ohms what what impedance your voice calls are so remember we had two subs there were single voice calls so we'll leave it like that and we're gonna go in here and press four and you know when we series them we metered out eight and when we parallel them we got two remember r over n this just does all the work for you it's so easy so what I want to do is talk about dual voice call subs. We're going to go back to one and instead of single, we're going to click dual. And then this is going to show you how your dual voice call four ohm sub is not a dual four because you do have to wire up both voice calls. You don't want to damage anything. So your dual four, if you only have one, has to be wired up in the exact same scenario that we just had. A dual four is going to give you an eight ohm if you series it or a two ohm load if you parallel it. So think about your dual voice call sub is like having two single voice call subs. It's just going to make it easy. So you can see that the wiring on the series is you're going to take a jumper wire which is this black and red wire and all that means is that we're going from the negative on one side hooking it up to the positive on the other side and then the other two voice calls are going straight to the amp. And then on the parallel, we just want to add all the positives and add all the negatives, and that's going to drop the impedance down. Now, talked about one dual voice call sub, let's run over to two dual voice call subs. And you can see that the options of wiring has just, just went up by two. So I want to talk about this series parallel right here, because as you can see, when you series the subs by themselves, you're taking that dual four and you're moving it to up to an eight. Remember, when we go, when we had one sub, this dual four, we had that jumper, and now we have a eight ohm sub. So now we have two eight ohm subs once we series those voice calls individually. Now those other voice calls, we're gonna parallel them, which means we're gonna hook up all the negatives together and then hook up all the positives together. And then we take those two eight ohm subs and we wire them back down to a four. So that's how series parallel can get a little funky, you know what I'm saying? Or two dual voice calls, dual voice call subs in, in general can get a little funky, but you can wire them up easy with this thing. It shows you exactly how to wire them low. Now you need to know that the amplifier provides the cleanest power at four ohms. Uh, me personally, it's not too distorted for me at one ohm, so I usually drop mine down to one. If you can get a two ohm impedance, I kind of feel like it's best of both worlds. It's not, it's not as distorted as one. It's not as clean as four, but you still get a good amount of power. But that just, it just depends on how you guys want to do it. But this app is so easy because you literally just type in. Let's say you got three subs, and they're dual twos. We just press done. And then now I know 0.33, probably not going to have an amp that does that. You could do 3 ohms or you could do 1.33, which means uh, 
find you an amp that's one ohm stable and this series parallel configuration could work or let's have four subs quarter of an ohm that's for those competition guys uh four ohms that'll be awesome or down here to one ohm four dual twos will give you a one ohm load well, let's just say they're single like the options are just limitless man as far as knowing how to wire up your subs with this app now there's other different apps that you can download um you can go to the website uh the 12 volt.com it, it's real easy you can actually pull multiple drivers like up to six or eight drivers or something like that on there if i'm not mistaken but at the end of the day this is in my pocket it's a quick app i just use it i like it like i said it's not a plug for kicker but they did a good job on the app other than that man i hope you guys find some type of value in this video if you did hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment all that good stuff until next time it's your boy jp signing out